I am Gabrielle Precario, and I teach Project Lead the Way here at the 1012 Center. Uh, Project Lead the Way is a national curriculum. It prepares students for an engineering career or STEM career. So the kids experience introductory courses in engineering, and then there, we also have specialty courses in civil engineering and architecture and digital electronics. So this uh, particular class is um, Principles of Engineering. So in Principles of Engineering, we focus on four individual units. So we have just finished mechanics in isolation. So they are building mechanics machines, so simple machines, into one compound machine. We first came up with the idea to like make a gear train, and this would kind of rotate uh, this sprocket and this pulley system would, uh, with this string here, it would lift this up. And there's a weight in here with a pin attached to it. And the, when this lifts up, it would create an angle and it would slide the weight down to here, which is where the balloon would be. Uh, so basically this right here is a gear ratio. Uh, since the input gear is larger than the output gear, that gives it more torque, uh, which one of the requirements was it for it to have a certain mechanical advantage. Um, so really we try to make it pretty simple. Uh, we had to have a minimum of three different simple machines. So we've got a lever here, gear ratio here, and a lever here. Uh, so basically you just input a force here and the gears turn and move this down. Pull the string to spin a wheel that causes this gear train to move, causing this wheel to spin which is connected to a pulley that pulls that down. The string is eventually going to let go and drop that which is going to drop the pin, drop the lever. Pull on this chain here, right? And the gears in the back pull the pin up, causing the wheel to go down, hit the lever, and pop the balloon. We first started out with our gear train, um, and then we did our chain and sprocket, which connects to our pulley, and we made it unnecessarily large. So you spin the gears like a thousand times, and then this goes to its maximum, and it's just like, it's super strong, but it takes a long time to do it. So when we first start out this project, the students prepare uh, what is called a design notebook. So that notebook will capture all their ideas about the project. So initially, I give them a, a kind of a design statement. So they had to build a machine, which is composed of a minimum of three simple machines. They were limited to the VEX supplies in the room. So if you notice, all the projects have that metal kind of looking feature, some green gears and sprockets. So they have to use materials in the room. And then they were popping a balloon. Before the students can touch any materials, they have to brainstorm individually and come up with a drawing on how they're going to accomplish this. And then they'll meet with their teams of two to three people and kind of talk about it and then they can start building. A lot of the course focuses on the kids figuring out the problem. So I'm there to kind of facilitate, but I will not give them the answer. I think the students really love the idea uh, as they got into it, but in the beginning there was like a struggle as far as how am I gonna do this? So I did give them some ideas, but I was amazed at how they went off and kind of came up with some really cool designs I haven't seen in the last couple of years. So I think that was really encouraging to see they were going outside of the box and create creativity really was shining for a lot of them. There was a lot of pride today in the fact that they were getting to show it off. Um, which I really loved. Um, so there was like that idea of like, oh wow, I get to show this. So I think they really enjoyed it and that's the goal is to get them enjoy it but also learn why it is working the way it is.